At Editas Medicine, we are working on a new kind of science to be able to tackle genetic diseases and achieve genomic repair. The technology that we're developing, which is called CRISPR-Cas9, is an unprecedented technology in terms of being able to achieve these kinds of genetic repairs where you're fixing the mutation at the level of the DNA. It's, it's a young technology, it's just coming out of the academic scientific laboratories, and we are here to try to translate that into creating medicines for patients who suffer from these genetic diseases. One of the challenges we face here at Editas is that we're working in brand new science, and there is very little precedent for it, there's no roadmap. And so you have to, as an organization, be comfortable living in that world where you don't have a defined path, you don't have a lot of precedent or guidance on how to proceed. And what we're trying to do is make medicines for patients with, with quite serious illnesses, and you have to be really thoughtful and careful about how you do that, while at the same time moving quickly because there's such a sense of urgency to try to help those patients. Our culture needs to both be able to tolerate the ambiguity of not having a clear path forward, a willingness to define that path, in an area where the stakes are high for the patients and for the science, and figure out how to, to live with that tension of, we have to learn lessons from those that have gone before us in similar technologies, but recognize when those precedents might not be appropriate because this science is new. And you live with some tension there intellectually at every step of the way in developing new medicines like this. Our mission at Editas Medicine is to help patients who have genetically driven diseases and to be able to do that for many kinds of patients with many different kinds of diseases, that's what's really motivating and, and what we aspire to do. But I think it's also important to recognize that this technology is arriving at a moment in time when our knowledge of the genome and the genomic infrastructure, if you will, is much more mature than it's ever been before. We know the sequence of the human genome. We can sequence genomes quickly and inexpensively, which means that we can apply this technology, we can really take advantage of it in a way that even five or 10 years ago wouldn't have been possible. So the fact that it's landing in a moment in time where we have this maturity of knowledge and maturity of genetic capabilities, we can identify patients, we can identify them early, and hopefully then be able to, to help them. It's a really important aspect of this technology emerging at this point in time.